Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. We're very excited about to have this exclusive interview with Miss Arcadia USA, who's getting ready for the Miss Arizona USA pageant. It's our very own Faith Ferris. All right. Faith, this is awesome. You kept this a secret from us. Why? Well, I just wanted to get ready and get my mindset going. I'm starting to work out preparing for the pageant, so I just wanted to keep it a secret until I was fully mentally ready for everyone to know. So, okay, <laughs> this is pretty neat because we've been talking with, again, the pageant. We had mm -hmm. the uh, coordinator, uh, yep. Bri uh, Britt, Britt Powell, Powell right? Yep. Then we had Miss Arizona USA, yep, who's Yesenia. heading to uh, her pageant. And now you are here. Yes. So this is a very big deal. And, and right now is the time that you're out doing stuff. First of all, how'd you get into this? Well, okay, so when I was in high school, I did the Miss Illinois Teen USA pageant. I won Miss Swimsuit, and then I did it the year after but I haven't done it for 10 years. And so I was thinking, you know, since moving out here to Arizona, I've put my career ahead of everything. Schooling, obviously, I finished up and then got into my career. And so I was finally like, you know, I'm here at the station producing with you. What's a better time than right now to do what I've been wanting to do? And I'd rather look back when I'm older and be like, you know what, I'm really glad I did this rather than say, oh, I wish I would have just taken the chance to do it. So I'm doing it, so I'm excited to do it. We compete in May, I got pushed back from January to May because of COVID, um, so Britt just wants us to have like the full experience, so yeah. I'm excited for it. So, and it is kind of challenging right now because usually this is when you guys are out doing your community service, you're raising mm -hmm. money yeah. for the entry fee, for the gowns and everything like that. So mm -hmm. we're here to help you, we're here to support you because I just said a few things that are needed. So let's talk that, and it's not just you, all the ladies who are competing need this. Yeah, I mean, we're all looking for sponsorships from businesses, I mean, individuals who just have the opportunity to donate anything. But yeah, we're looking more so to partner with sponsors, um, businesses, like I said, small businesses, for hair, makeup, nails, I need an evening gown, I need a swimsuit, I need a dress to wear for the opening number. So, you know, we're all looking for those things and we all have our individual websites. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, so just find me at Faith Ferris and you I like can find it. it. Well, I wanna do this for you. And since, you know, we really love you, care about you, we're glad that you're our coordinated producer, what she does for me and everything. Um, what I'd like to do is donate um, pretty much a knitted Evening gown. <laughs> oh gosh. I, this is going to be like the birthday cake incident all over again. My microwave birthday cake. Yeah, yeah I think I'll knit, I'll knit you. Yeah, that's no. Wow. Um, Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate it. So, all right, let's talk about how this all works. So, right now, you guys are pretty much in your um, community service activity. And what's your community right. service? So, my platform is mostly um, helping out veterans, wounded soldiers, families who have military deployed right now. So I love that we work with Holiday for Hometown Heroes. That's a huge thing with our station and our owner, Lynn. So it's really, I'm really happy to be part of that. Also with MAM, you know, we have a lot of different things going back and forth with them. So, but that's one, one of my platforms, but I don't want to be the kind of person that only sticks with one platform because there's so many great things that we can help with. Yeah. So I'm not limiting myself to one. But that platform you're doing is very important to you oh, yeah, for absolutely. a very good cause. And what's that? Yeah. So, well, I was always, I was raised as an army brat, me and my brother. Um, my dad was in the military. He's a retired veteran now. And then my brother, he's in the military. And then my two grandpas, one was in the Navy and the other was in the army. So I've always been an army brat, a military kind of person. So. Happy to do anything I can. I like for how them. you say grandpa. That's it. That's it. my I grandpa. Pa. That's it right there. How do uh, other people is, say it? <laughs> uh, and we know that uh, Britt was telling us that there are still opportunities for ladies to get involved. Yes, and, there and are. You want them to? Absolutely. So you can go to MissArizonaUSA.com to sign up because they're still looking for contestants through May. I'm looking for Miss Arcadia Teen USA to be my little teen. So if you want to be a little Miss Arcadia Teen USA, let me know and we'll get you going. There you go. All right, you can follow uh, Faith on, of course, social media, Instagram. We'll post some stuff on our AZ uh, uh, Daily Mix one, and so we got everything. But yeah. congratulations, this Thank is awesome. You. So, all right, if you win, you you head to like the big pageant, right? So if I win, then I become Miss Arizona USA, and then I would be doing what Yesenia is doing come um, Halloween, which would be going to Miss USA. So, so. All, right. all right, give us the wave. Can you give us the wave? There she is, Miss Arcadia. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Faith. Thanks, Brad. This is awesome. Well, we're gonna, you can follow our journey right here on our show.